A wrong diagnosis will inevitably lead to a misapplied cure. I'll be talking about colonial mentality or failure that can't be whitewashed. A friend recently wrote about how the obsession with wanting to associate with things Western and even white, from skin color to accent, smacked of a colonial mentality. Mm, I'm not so sure. The colonial masters left over 60 years ago, during which time we've managed to further ransack our country from within, and we blame our unpopularity and pariah status on a colonial mindset? Take our healthcare sector. It is so dilapidated and bereft of investment, even down to the protective garments needed during a pandemic. Many would avoid taking a gamble on it if they could, except that now they can't, they're left with no choice. Yet we say we look down on Nigerian train because of a colonial mentality. We can't whitewash failure just as you cannot package success. Hush Poppy is a recent witness to this. Without fundamental investment, we will continue to speak of potential and not substance, like a balloon filled with air. Success cannot be founded solely on a mindset. Individually and collectively, we need to demand excellence of ourselves, our businesses, our government, simultaneously, no passing the buck. Without investing what little we have in ourselves today, we cannot expect to see value tomorrow. We cannot expect people to want to associate with us since failure has no friends. However, the good news is failure isn't written into our DNA. Our music and entertainment industry, for example, is flourishing and internationally coveted, despite our poor achievements in almost all other sectors. This should tell us it was never an intrinsic black versus white thing. Ikorodu boys can attest to this. It is actually more straightforward than we have made it. If we do well, then as a nation, Nigeria will be the measure of success. Africa, the image of resplendence, and black will be beautiful indeed. And black still, will be beautiful. We're beautiful already. It's still yeah, colonial but we won't mentality. We'll have to fight yeah. Black Lives Matter. It is still colonial mentality. Okay, help me. Um, we like me, everything foreign. I'm it's telling all you. Foreign. Nobody's that's why, looking your way. Don't worry, that's carry why, on. That's why even you look at look at Indian and um, Nigeria, for example, they were colonized almost at the same time, gained independence, you know, a few years apart. Look at Ghana, even Ghana. Ghana has been able to retain its originality. Do you know that this music that you think that is coveted abroad, Congo music, is coveted abroad more, much more than this Nigerian music because of its originality? As you... Because of its originality. Because of its originality. Okay. Well, maybe we're saying the same thing. Then. But ours is the fact that, oh, you want to talk like an American, yo, hey, two fingers in the air, peace. And then, and so that American is looking for something that is African and not something that is American-African. He's not looking for you to be gorgeous. Exactly. And so, it's the same thing. And that's why, rather than, we talk about mansions, rather than look inward, how do I develop? The first thing you want to do is, I have money, I've been local government chairman, I want to visit America. You're not thinking of bringing America to your local government, just the way Dubai brought the West to them. So, yeah. so and it is still that mentality of the West is better. So let me go there and you get there the next thing, oh, I wish I could just own a property here. Rather than owning but, but that Libra, property. Sorry to interject, but do you not think that the West is better because the West is better? That's what I'm saying. If no. the West were not better, why would you convert it? As no. I'm saying, get no. it right. No. The, the West has their own the time in the past when they worked at being better. That's what I'm saying, that's yeah, what yeah, I'm yeah, saying yeah, that the, the, it is that mentality of you thinking that the West is better. There are African you said, indeed, we, African is black, or how do you... Black, black would be beautiful indeed. Black would be, be already beautiful. beautiful. Black is already beautiful. It is for you to see the beauty in it and enhance it. it, it you know, um, excellence is difficult and tough to find. We, as Africans, have not done enough in the space of excellence. We don't hold our own feet to the fire. And therefore, the outputs has not been earning us any respect anywhere. And in spite of the flaws that you're going to see with, with the uh, uh, Black Lives Matter, we need to invest more in ourselves. The blame game doesn't work any longer. So it's only going to be blamed for the reason why our hospitals are not equipped or our curriculum have not been revised or there are no school uh, uh, infrastructure for the children to attend. We can't blame all of that now. They left a long time ago. 
So we must invest in excellence if we're going to reap any fruit of excellence. I think Bolaho gets me. Can That's I? not my point. Yeah. Okay, so my own feeling about this is a little bit different because um, even recently you had um, um, the president's candidate, Pendisha Kade, in the United States election, said her position was a Nigerian. I'm talking about in the health sector. So when, we, when Nigerians leave um, Nigeria, uh, they can excel in all works of life, even in and we, we find the, the highest um, sad scores that sometimes Nigerians. You wonder what's really happening to bright minds um, excelling elsewhere, and Nigeria is the way it is. And we're going back to the same topic that we're all hovering about. It's, it's about corruption. Why don't we have electricity? You're talking about Ghana. I remember in my lifetime, in the 80s, we were talking about Ghana must go. People were coming to do menial jobs, tailors, houseboys, or whatever, just to survive. And today, the last time I went to Ghana, the, the hotel that I stayed in, it was as if I was in New York. It was the same cost. So what's wrong with us in Nigeria? Why are we not excelling and let it be visible? Because we, are, we have so many hidden shadows, so many mysterious things, because we want to, to enhance corruption. So that, for me, is the bottom line. Until we can hold our leaders and our systems accountable, how can we excel, no matter how brilliant we are? Because we're excelling elsewhere. Is it a different brain that entered my head because I came to Canada or to the United States or to London? It's the same person. It's just because the system here works. Let's jump in. Let's jump in. Let me quickly jump in. Yes, jump in, I beg. It's a colonial mentality that leads to that failure. Right. I can I say, and I quote, can I say, and I quote, you can't whitewash failure and you can't package success. Yes. See what happens in our sports. We would wait for a name to be made, a Nigerian name to be made abroad. Then we import them to use them for the various competitions. We're not investing in But we're not people. growing. Yeah. We don't have homegrown people. Well, you're yeah. making the and same point I'm making. Yeah. What we are saying it's is, still is still that, keep going, please. it it's is still that still colonial thing. mentality that leads to <laughs> failure. <laughs> yeah, That's okay. what so she what said. Is That's wrong what we are with saying. Why you finish that? What is wrong with us? I remember, why did I set up uh, the Funke Treasure Table Tennis Championship? Because I saw that there were no Bose Kafos and the Funke or Shonaike anymore. Mm. Yes, we have other people coming, but you know, no really big names anymore. And then I looked at what we had, the structure that we had, not, nothing significant. We just take from here, from there, and then tomorrow, when we hear that a certain somebody is making waves in table tennis, then we go and pluck that person to say, come and run. And your yeah. sponsors will only support when you now go to bring some people and abroad me, as yes. a part no, of maybe, that. Part of let me treasure. So let me treasure. Where we may be missing ourselves, I think you're saying what I'm saying, sort of but maybe thing. we're missing ourselves, is to say, you are importing the person because that person has gone to an environment where they, that person has been invested in. Right. So you're rightly importing them because they're the real deal. But you can't take your homegrown because they haven't been invested in. So it's not just colonial, it's substance. You're going after the substance. People associate um, quality, like Apple, because they are substance. Yeah, they have a brand. Have, we, we haven't have developed that brand. No, Do you we know have substance we can't put a brand on something that no, is not there. We have substance right. at home. They're not just you recognized know, because they have not gone abroad. Sorry, Rookie. Rookie. An operation can be going on and they take light and then every, the, the patient dies. The time they switch over to the gen, for example, something that is a very simple procedure gets complicated because of two or three minutes of a switchover. Just simple things like yes, that yes. makes us very, you know, below the par. Yeah. So people don't want to, to go there. Like you want to have a routine surgery. Most people that can afford it go abroad. Some people even go to India. Can you imagine that? Yeah. Because we cannot have basic infrastructure that we can rely on. So what I'm saying and is that this the, is yeah, the fundamental the problem in Nigeria. There, that no... I am colonial mentality may not always What's be just reason? colonial mentality. Yeah. What, what are they doing that we should actually copy? And what the, should we do to strengthen our system? I, I think you, you, you seem to be missing the point that Rookie and I, um, Treasurer and I are okay. making. It is simple. That man who refused to invest in Nigeria, okay. his reason for refusing to invest in Nigeria is that, oh, yes, somebody has invested abroad. Okay, you know, it's already made. Already made one. Already made. Mm -hmm. It's a colonial mentality thing. You know, when the white came, why were they able to colonize us? Because we felt that they were already no, made. No. They were superior. <laughs> it's they not came with. colonial mentality that makes no, you invest abroad. No, no, wait, seriously. It's because it's easier and it's no. more. It's, more, it's no. ready to no, go. It's, for it's our government officials. To be a okay, for government government officials. officials. Fine. For our government officials who are saddled with the responsibility to make it right. Yes. 
their reason for not making it they right rather go is abroad they would rather go to where they believe that man that left them long ago is still superior to them. Oh, okay. Fine, and okay. So that's what leading to all of those failures. Okay. Yeah, as far as I'm concerned, I think, I I think we saw in it the in the management of COVID-19 as well. The moment the, the people in the West were locking down, we started locking down. Okay. Okay, fine. And then now that they've started easing out, then we started <laughs> easing out. I'm glad Whether we, it applies I'm, to us or not. I'm glad we had that conversation because I think I started getting your angle towards the end. Okay, after we've offered up our keys to success, it's over to you and all of us to unlock it. So keep the conversation going on our social media platforms on Facebook, Plus TV Africa, hashtag The Advocates NG, or on Twitter and Instagram at Plus TV Africa, hashtag The Advocates NG. To catch up with previous broadcasts, go to plustvafrica.com forward slash The Advocate. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Plus TV Africa. Till next week when we'll be tabling more hot and spicy topics for you to chew on, let's keep advocating for a better society. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Ah, you guys have a Bye. great day. My <laughs> seeing you. Yeah. Bye. Well, uh -huh. okay. Five panelists, five topical issues, no holds barred. For me, it's not knowledge that's lacking. It's that greed. It's that mentality where you feel you deserve to take your own and take it infinitely and let everybody else just manage however they would like. We're almost becoming hardwired to try and cheat. I would, you know, suggest that we begin to hold our leaders accountable. There was a time in this country when yes. things actually work. I don't think that any organization should be above the law. And I think one of the challenges we have in this country is about governance across the board. What, what I'm saying is that it doesn't really affect us in Nigeria. I don't know what we can do if the system is already corrupted. We've been warned as a continent of the influx of the Chinese. If you don't repay your debt, they will just colonize you.